taking care of some things. So, but it's good stuff. Okay. I got one more thing I want to talk to you about. Uh, I know we've talked a lot about the Elkhart campus the past um, uh, today already. I'm getting just a teeny bit of feedback. Could you turn me down just a little bit in here? Uh, we've talked about the Elkhart campus a lot already. When we started the Elkhart campus last fall, we had spent a lot of time looking into that. Uh, God had birthed uh, church planting and starting churches, those type of things, in my heart since day one of Pathway. We've been a church now for 10 years. And to see that campus come around, we went to conferences, we talked with all kinds of people about how to do it and what to expect and all of these things. Okay. But we knew this being our first church like this, our first campus that we've started, there was going to be challenges. There's going to be things that we didn't, didn't realize and didn't, didn't know going into it. And so there's, there's been a lot of things that we've recognized. Um, and we said, yeah, we knew that, expected that. But one of the things that we didn't expect, and I want to talk to you about just for a moment, is what starting that campus in Elkhart, how that would affect our Middlebury campus. I, I just, I was really thrown for a loop. And I think as a leadership team, we were thrown for a loop since last October when we started this campus, when we started the Elkhart campus. Just, we just have a sense, and have a sense that, the emotion here in Middlebury, the kind of the psychological effect, it was a, a much greater negative. Um, and I, I hate to use the word negative, but it was, it was more challenging than what we ever thought it would be. And so it, I just feel kind of like um, the past, I'm just being brutally honest with you. And some of you are like, what are you talking about? Some of you are like, oh yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I felt it too. So, so what we kind of feel like is we're kind of spinning around here in Middlebury since last October just saying, oh, now what, what, what? And, um, and, and, and so I, I just, t- this morning, I want to take a moment just to recognize that. We recognize that. We see that as a staff. We see that as a leadership team. It's something we're very aware of. And we've spent a whole lot of time trying to ask ourselves, okay, what is it? I was talking to a, a pastor this week just about it. And he said, Scott, I would liken it to postpartum depression. <laughs> it's like... Well, I don't know as if I've given birth lately, but as a church, yeah. I mean, we gave birth to that church, and what happened? These people that were a part of us for years, we gave about 40, 50 people just all of a sudden they're not here. One of our favorite staff members, and at the time we only had two, so it's Jason or me. So, so we gave Jason over to the Elkhart campus. And we, we like seeing the skinny little guy running around and, and talking and interacting. He's not here in Middlebury anymore on this campus, at least not on Sundays. So one of our favorite staff members at the time, about 40, 50 of us, and if we had to do it all over again, I'd do the exact same thing. Exact same thing. We gave him. But we just didn't expect, come on Sundays, it's a little bit less, uh, not as many people, not as commotion. It's just a different emotion that, that we've been experiencing. Okay, so Scott, we get it, we get it. So, so what? What about it? Well, this is what we've been doing so far this year. Is we, we, and let me just say this. I apologize. I apologize that I haven't caught on to this quicker. I apologize that notice it, but not quite sure exactly what to do about it. So what we have done is we've tried to create some more opportunities for us as a church to come together. In fact, this past week, as I was meeting with the leadership team where we were talking, that's what I just, I felt the Holy Spirit just come and say to my heart, Scott, it's time for Pathway to come together. It's time for us to, to come together, to, to, to just take steps to be more one. Um, and so, and so um, in January, of course, we started off the year coming together around spiritual emphasis time. In the month of March, I know some of you don't have little frog martins, but those of us that do, we had about 20 families come out every Wednesday night in the month of March, come out and be a part of the Bring It Home series. Powerful time, of not only with families, but I got to know some of you that I didn't know very well through those Wednesday nights. We had a couples retreat a couple weekends ago. Great opportunity to come together. And uh, we've, we've been praying about this, thinking about this over the past couple months, and we feel like it's time in the season of our church that we come together on Sunday mornings. So starting, why waste time? Starting next Sunday, June the 6th, we're going to take our 11 o'clock and pull it into 10 o'clock and our 9 o'clock and push it back to 10 o'clock, and we're going to go back to one service starting next week. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to stay that way. I'm not sure what the future is as far as two services, one service here at the Middlebury campus. This is what I do know, is that we have very much peace about this decision. Feel like coming together 
coming back together on Sunday mornings is going to help us. Now that means especially some of our children's area is going to be a little bit more full. Sanctuary obviously is going to look more full, but there's going to be some challenges and we're going to rethink what we're doing in the nurseries. Um, not sure if it's going to happen right away in June, but we're definitely by July going to split those nurseries back up and we're going to work on some of those things. Um, but I just, I think part of this, much of this, it has to do with just the, um, the newness of starting a new campus, um, things that we didn't expect. And uh, I think some of this, um, we just need to expect in a sense now. Because our vision, right, what we feel like God's called us to do is not necessarily become some mega church in the midst of Middlebury, but to reach this region with the gospel. We feel the most uh, effective way for us to reach as many people as we can in this region is to start more campuses and start more churches. So um, uh, we, we need to understand that every two or three years over the next uh, five, ten years, there's, we're going to send a, a group of people out. It may not be 40 or 50, but we're going to send a group of people out to start a new campus like Pathway out there. So this is going to be part of who we are, growing pains. But the vision is strong. The vision is still there. We're moving forward. And I think that as we come together next Sunday for the first time and over the next few months, years, however long this is, we, we're back in one service in Middlebury, we're going to experience, it's going to be another step closer to us coming together. All right? You get what I'm saying? So, um, okay, thank you, thank you. So here's the deal. Um, we're going to start next Sunday. Don't have all the details worked out. We've, we've been thinking about this for about at least two months we've been discussing as a leadership team, just trying to get the heart of God on this. And uh, I think it's going to be a real win. But if you have any questions, if you have any questions about this decision or anything like that, please um, uh, grab one of the staff members or even one of the leadership team guys um, or myself, uh, email me, uh, call me, whatever. Be glad to uh, field some of those, and uh, I, think, I think it's going to be a good season, all right? You ready to give?